The deadline for a debt ceiling vote is just eight days away, and there is no sign of a deal. In fact, the House Majority Leader Steve Scalise just told members they can go home for Memorial Day weekend because a vote on a deal is nowhere in sight. And the public statements from both sides show exactly why. You know the challenge here. Democrats continue to want to spend more. I've been very clear. I will not put a bill on the floor that spends more money next year than this year. For starters, this is a manufactured crisis, plain and simple. Let's be clear, this is not about cutting wasteful spending for Republicans, and it never has been. But one key moderate Democrat is offering a lifeline to Speaker McCarthy. It's Congressman Dean Phillips. He's telling McCarthy that he would support him as Speaker if he stands up to the right wing of his party and brokers a bipartisan deal to avoid a default. Congressman Phillips is now out front. And Congressman, I really appreciate your time. So I obviously want to talk to you about uh, your offer to Speaker McCarthy. But first, I want to just, you know, here we are. They're being told, uh, Steve Scalise is, you know, telling GOP they can go home uh, for Memorial Day weekend. No vote is in the offing. We are eight days away from the first ever default for the U.S. President Biden, of course, will be president for that if it occurs. Uh, People go away for Memorial Day weekend. By the time they get back, that's where we are. So do you approve right now of how Biden and the White House have handled the negotiations thus far? Well, Aaron, I think uh, seven days from now, I expect there will be a deal. This is, I think, the same movie with the same ending. And we watch uh, once again. Uh, but I think people should keep the faith that uh, we will resolve this. Uh, I think the appointees uh, of the Biden administration to do the negotiation, Shalanda Young and Steve Bruschetti, are capable, able, principled. Uh, uh, Speaker McCarthy has said the same. Uh, and I think the way the negotiation has been handled has been adequate. Uh, but would I have done some things differently? Of course. I think it would have been an opportune time uh, for the White House to demand uh, universal background checks on gun purchases, something that 80 percent of the country hmm. wants. I just I'm I'm not terribly fond of the negotiating strategy uh, when the only outcome is concessions. But I'm a pragmatist. Here we are. We have to hmm. deal with what is and not what we had hoped would be. Uh, but I'm optimistic, uh, perhaps more so than most. But uh, keep the faith. We're going to get this done. All right. So it, it, let's just talk about McCarthy's issue here, right? He's got some folks who have no interest in doing a deal, a lot mm -hmm. of them, right? We saw how he won the speakership, right? That was... Uh, that was an embarrassment for the whole country, uh, what the world saw in that, right? But that's, that's what he's dealing with on the flank of his party. If he can broker a deal on the debt ceiling, right, if he can do one, are you 100% committed to supporting him on a vote for speaker? If that flank of his party, the right flank of his party, try to force him out because he made a deal? Well, let me say this first. Uh, I, and I, I voted for Hakeem Jeffries for speaker. I nominated him. I celebrate him as an exceptional leader. I can't wait to celebrate with him when he becomes the speaker in January of 2025. But right now we have Speaker McCarthy in that seat. And I'm somebody who thinks that this country and those who serve in Congress should reward courage, no matter what side of the aisle it comes from. I'm a member of the Problem Solvers Caucus, Aaron. We have a wonderful off-ramp for both the White House uh, and Speaker McCarthy uh, that would eliminate the, de uh, the debt ceiling for in the near term, suspend it, in return for appointing a bipartisan, bicameral commission that would actually navigate through this and make thoughtful recommendations on both revenue and cuts to ensure that we reduce our deficits. But if the speaker is in a position where we will default if he doesn't bring something to the floor that would result in a motion to vacate, meaning to recall him from the speaker position, I think some Democrats, including myself, uh, should be thoughtful and considerate relative to keeping him in the seat for now because courage should be rewarded. And I'm sick and tired of serving in an institution uh, where we don't do so enough. And I think the country demands it, particularly as we face a crisis of historic proportions. So, so two quick follows to that. I understand you're being thoughtful. You're not making a hard commitment here. I'm just, I'm just making that point. But do you, you mentioned some other Democrats. Have you had explicit conversations with other Democrats that you know you would have a group that would be willing to do this at the right moment? And also, have you had any talks with Speaker McCarthy? I've had talks with a number of Democrats. Uh, we are a remarkably pragmatic group. Uh, we have to deal with what is. We recognize uh, that tens of millions of Americans uh, would be affected in dramatic, horrific, and dangerous fashions if we default. Uh, so the answer is yes, I've had those conversations. I think there's a robust and thoughtful group uh, that would consider that. Now, how you qualify courage is something different. I think there's going to be a deal struck in the, about a week or so that will be brought to the floor. We're going to lose some Democrats. We're going to lose some Republicans. And frankly, if that's what happens, that's probably in the best interest of the country. But 
if we face a predicament in which the speaker has to bring something to the floor to avoid default uh, that would result in a terrific, horrific backlash uh, from his own conference, then, yes, I think there are Democrats uh, that would do what's necessary to throw him a lifeline if he throws the United States one first. All right. Thank you very much, Congressman. I appreciate your time.